Mark Rubin says summer is the busiest time of the year. It's hotter out, it's raining every day. He is the owner of the Mosquito Authority in South Florida. There seems to be more and more mosquitoes, more and more calls. Now the CDC is issuing an advisory after seeing five cases of the mosquito-borne illness, malaria. They signaled the first local spread of the disease in 20 years. Health officials say the cases in Texas and Florida were acquired here in the U.S., not through travel. That means that we have had malaria spread into the mosquito population here which means that the risk for getting malaria here in this country is higher um, than it used to be, and, and that is really concerning. Dr. Celine Gounder says mild symptoms may include headache, fever, and muscle aches. Among the potential severe symptoms, changes in mental status, lung, and kidney failure. Severe malaria can be deadly, and it is a medical emergency, so people who have signs and symptoms of malaria should get checked out as quickly as possible. Martin Edlund is CEO of Malaria No More. He says we're seeing the effects of climate change on health. Mosquito-borne diseases like malaria and dengue are some of the most climate-sensitive diseases. Even small changes in temperature, rainfall, humidity can lead to these diseases being transmitted in new altitudes, and new latitudes. Prevention is critical. Removing standing water and cover skin with clothing, an appropriate repellent. Cristian Benavides, CBS News.